What is up, you two? It's your boy, Keek Nation, and we back at it again with the 2K videos, y'all. Now, this is my first video in two and a half weeks, almost three weeks, y'all. And let me just first apologize for that, fam. Your boy was grounded. Your boy, man, we, I'm a teenager, man. We all get in trouble. You know, you get your phone took, your PS4, all that, all that stuff, man. But your boy back now. We're going to be back with some 2K videos. And, of course, I'm never going to stop the NBA Live Mobile Love. And I should be doing some UFC videos coming up this weekend. And put that all together, man. We got some new content. But today, you already see from the thumbnail and from the title, we doing a top five most unstoppable players in NBA Live Mobile. Now, what gave me the idea to do this video? I was literally playing this dude on 2K, bro. Online, he was using the Warriors. And this dude, KD, was going off. I mean to tell you, like, dude was pulling up from 30. He was double-crossing LeBron, step back in his face, Yaga. I'm talking about to the paint, post fadeaways. And I'm like, this dude is really unstoppable. But then again, I'm coming back with LeBron. I'm taking him to the paint, getting to the line, making my free throws, mid-range, post fadeaways. I'm hitting my corner threes with LeBron. And it gave me the idea, like, maybe I should do a video on 2K. I know this has been done time and time and time and time and time before. The top five, most unstoppable, the top five, overpower, all that stuff. But I do want to give my version of it. My five players I think are the most unstoppable. This is not going to be the only time that I do this list. I will do another list where I have guys like Westbrook, Giannis, those guys. But for this guy, this is the absolute absolute there's a couple of substitutes you can make this is the absolute top five guys who are unstoppable in this game you guys i'm telling you but hey i'm talking for a little bit too long man let's go ahead and hop into the video <laughs> Nigga wanna see me fall Seven curry how I pull Go shit gonna say no body in the night come on Nigga wanna see me fall Seven curry how I pull Go shit gonna say no Alright y'all starting things off with number five We got my favorite center of all time the big diesel Shaquille O'Neal standing at seven feet tall. I think he should be around seven foot one. He's usually bigger than most centers. Standing at seven feet tall, 350 pounds at the center position. Mo his best card is obviously the all time Lakers card. And he does have a pretty good card for the all time Orlando Magics. Shaquille O'Neal on this game is absolute center dominant. There is no center on this game. I'm talking about Kareem Abdul Jabbar, not, not Hakeem Olajuwon. No center on this game could stop Shaq. If he gets the ball on the right block where he could turn to that right shoulder and hit that glass, it's over because he's either going to post you up and go right off the glass and hit that nice, easy little post hook, or he's just going to yam on you every single time i'm telling you it's impossible to stop don't ever try if the boy cat if the boy shack catch the ball in the post you might as well double team if you don't double team it's almost a guaranteed bucket the only way you can really stop shack is if you hold down that foul button go ahead and get the automatic foul if you're playing online nine times out of ten he will miss if you're playing uh play now on the playstation and you just got in a hall of fame he will make too many free throws too okay i need to face that i don't like how centers like dwight howard and shack make free throws just because he's not online but yeah, you guys, it's almost impossible to stop a Shaq. I guess you guys can't try to give him mid-range, but no one's really going to take those. If he catches the ball in the post, it's eating time. All right, y'all, going on to the fourth person on the list. Y'all know this guy had to be on the list, but a lot of y'all is going to chew me out for putting him this high on the list at the number four spot. I'm going to tell you right now, the reason being is because of his lack of able this lack of an ability to be able to shoot the three on 2k you're going to be able to need to shoot the three because at the end of the day guys are going to be chalking up threes 90 percent of us is going to choose three-point shooting teams so his inability his inability to make the threes at time is very frustrating and that's why he's higher than the rest of the guys on this list but number four we got the greatest player to ever grace the game of basketball <coughs> oh my goodness <sighs> Pray for your boy, Keek. The greatest player ever to grace the game of basketball, Michael Jordan. Now, Michael Jordan is almost, almost unstoppable. Like I said, that shooting does become a problem. 
it is sometimes we almost could leave Jordan wide open with that three, depending on which year Jordan using. All time Jordan, they gave him a pretty good threat. I think he has an A minus or an A three, but just like the 1980s Jordans and stuff like that, he can't really shoot. But if he catches you with the first step, it's a dunk. If it's in the post and he has a smaller defender on you, it's a bucket. Nine times out of ten, even if it's a bigger guard, he's going to blow right past you because he's a lot faster than all the other guards on the game, except for, like, I guess, Iverson, D-Wade, and maybe Kobe has some pretty good lateral quickness. But even those guys can't keep up with Jordan's first step. I'm pretty sure he has the quickest first step on the game. Soon as he catches the ball, one, pen, one pump fake, one dribble to the paint, and it's a dunk or a layup. A lot of times he will get fouled and make the shot like some type of magical just Michael Jordan way. He's knocking down a free throw. Mid-range is crazy. Now, if you guys are smart enough to do a five out and use some pick and roll, I'm telling you, you're going to get buckets with Jordan because that mid-range, he could pull it up with a man in his face, out of the post, right out of the uh right out of the pick, or if you're smart enough to just take it all the way to the paint, because at the end of the day, it is Michael Jordan, y'all. Like, come on. Like, what does he do? The dude wants to dunk, so go ahead into the paint. Get your yams with the boy Michael Jordan. There's no one really going to stop him. Ain't nobody going to see the boy at the paint. You may get lucky every once in a while and be able to foul him, and the refs don't call it, but that's pretty much the only shot you got to stop in this man. So come on now. It's Michael Jordan, y'all. All right, y'all, moving on to the third guy on this list. This is the my most hated. No, my second dude that I hate the most on 2K. I don't, I'm not gonna say that I don't like Kevin Durant. I respect Kevin Durant. I'm lightweight, a fan of, nah, I don't know. I don't really know how to put it. I respect Kevin Durant, I'm gonna say that. But I just said his name like four times, wow, I'm an idiot. But we got the boy Kevin Durant standing at about six foot nine. I, sh I say 2K should put him at a seven feet seven foot tall dude like come on now look at katie look at his height fam katie should be seven feet i think it's around 230 pounds 235 pounds i can't remember the actual uh weight that they gave the boy the boy kevin durant is unstoppable this is where we get into the realm of unstoppable you guys this dude cannot be stopped he says 2k says that the boy is six foot nine but he plays like he's seven foot. His arm length and his body length really helps him to get rebounds and shoot over defenders. So I think it counters out. Like he's he he's just as effective as a seven footer at that six nine height. But it's all good. The boy Kevin Durant got a three. He could pull up from thirty. He got the mid range game. Post fadeaways, it's a bucket. If you put if you put a smaller small small forward on him, he's going to shoot right over the hands. If you put a taller power forward on him, he's going to blow right past him, mix and match him, shake him up, step back three and a face. There's no way to stop this dude. He's seven foot with a three and a handle. Could shoot off the dribble, off the catch. Like I said, mid-range game is crazy. He's knocking down free throws. He's in the paint. He's yamming on dudes. Like I said, bro plays like he's seven foot. I hate, hate playing against the boy Kevin Durant. There's no way to stop this man. There's no way, but we got to go on, man. We got, I can't keep talking about KD like that, man. Snake. All right, y'all. Going on to the second guy on the list. Now, it's even surprising me that I'm going to put this guy second. We got number 24. Standing at six foot six. I think around 220 pounds. Playing only for the Los Angeles Lakers. 90% of y'all guessed it. If y'all didn't guess who I'm talking about by now, just quit watching basketball. Turn the video off and kill yourself. Now I'm just playing, but we got the boy Kobe Bryant. Now, obviously Kobe Bryant was going to be in this video. He's the, he's on the thumbnail, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can guess who is next up on the list. But the reason why I have Kobe lower than LeBron on this list is because Kobe is very much more inconsistent than LeBron. Like Kobe, Kobe can, Kobe can shoot you end of a game and can shoot you out of a game. But when a man's Kobe is hot, when he is black Mamba mode, there is no stopping him. I'm talking about triple pump fakes. You're still there. It doesn't matter. I'm talking about from the three fade away with a hand in his face. You're still there. When he's hot, it doesn't matter. Kobe got that post fade away. Put it. I dare you. 
If I'm using Kobe, I dare you to put a smaller shooting guard on him. You gotta guard him with a small four. That's your only chance. You have to put a small. You have to put a small four on. Try to play him with a smaller shooting guard, a six, a six four, a six five shooting guard, and it's over. It's a post fadeaway cheese all day. Right over the right shoulder, going towards the left. It's money. If you go for it, the fake is up and under with the boy Kobe. He can dunk on you, so do be careful for that help defense. If you got the boy Shaq, somebody in there, and the boy Kobe is coming full head to stand, you never know. The old dude, old bro might just give you a little bit of surprise bounce and slam on your noggin. So you got to be careful with the boy Kobe. But Kobe is the second most lethal offensive weapon. I honestly think Kevin Durant is a more lethal offensive weapon just because Kevin Durant is a little more consistent in that three. But just the shots that Kobe makes, that post fade away in those, like, he makes shots with really, like, Kobe real-life shots. 2008 to 2010 Kobe shots, you guys. But number one on the list, some of you guys may say that I'm a little biased, this being my favorite player of all time. But honestly, I have to go off the of opinion and what I've been experiencing. And, of course, this being my favorite player, I'm going to use this guy a lot in 2K. We got the boy LeBron James standing at six foot eight, 250 pounds. Main one I like to play with is the Miami Heat. LeBron James, Miami Heat being my favorite all time team, along with the Celtics. I wish LeBron played for the Celtics, but we got the boy LeBron James. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, plain and simple, why I have LeBron over the top of all these guys. It's a combination that LeBron could pretty much do what every single last person that I said what they're good at except i guess kd with that three-point shooting but he could do everything that every guy on this list could do but way more efficiently you could take up to 30 30 35 shots with lebron in 2k and you will still finish with like 44 percent 50 percent he will he will shoot like 35 to 40 percent from the three his worst thing that you guys could do with LeBron James is that free throw. I think they notched the boy LeBron on the free throw. I think they cheesed him out a little bit. I don't think he's that bad at free throws. I honestly miss more free throws with LeBron than I do with Shaq, which is kind of frustrating. But to the paint, it's a yam. If not, he's finishing a strong layup with an and one. It doesn't matter. Mid-range, he's bigger than most small forwards or two guards if you get a switch. So that post fadeaway, it's good. Mid-range wide open, it's money. Three-pointer, leave it wide open. Ah, it's iffy. It's if I say it's 50-50 with the boy LeBron. I ain't gonna how to act like the boy be making all his threes. It's iffy. If he get hot, he gonna knock him down. If you get him going early, and then the fact that LeBron James is six foot eight, 250 pounds. A lot of the times, the fastest player on the court, he gonna grab boards and he's gonna move the ball around. The best passer on his list by far. So if you guys trap LeBron or you try to close him out. LeBron is very good at making those passes. We try to make one of those passes with other, one of those other players on the list. It's a lot of the times going to be a turnover. I guess the, I would say the best passer besides on LeBron on this list is Jordan. But man, what a list. What a list. Topping it off with the boy LeBron James. We got Kobe in at number two. The boy KD came in at number three. Jordan came in at number four. And Shaq at number five. Now, once again, this is just my list. This is my opinion from my experience playing 2K. You guys have your own list, which is what I'm getting to next. If you have your own list and your own opinion, who should be on here? Stephen Curry, Giannis. I know what you guys are going to say. You Stephen Curry fans, you Giannis fans, you Westbrook fans. Comment that down below. Let me know who is your top five most unstoppable or the top guys that you can't stop or the top guys that you are unstoppable using. These is just my top five that I've either played with or played against a lot. And I understand how these guys play and they're pretty much impossible to stop. But like I said, this is not going to be the only time that I do this list. I will bring another one within the next two weeks, but I'm blabbering on, man. If you guys are new, like and subscribe to the channel. I am Keegan Nation. We do a lot of basketball related videos over here. I have a second channel and I'm going to be re uh re uploading on very, very soon. Banger video coming out on there. So subscribe to that channel. Link is in the description, man. We do all type of gamings over here, man. We're going to do scary games. Like I said, we're going to do some UFC, some 2K, some NBA Live Mobile. Whatever game I obtain is coming to the channel. This video is getting to 15 minutes long. See, a boy kick has to hit the dope. But until next time, y'all, we out.